What you'll need for this project is a picture frame, a canvas, a wooden letter, buttons, spray paint, fabric or burlaps like I'm using, a staple gun, a hot glue gun, some type of paint, and a foam brush. The first thing you want to do is put push pins in the ladder, kind of keeps it up so it's easier to paint, it's not so messy. Um, this step is also optional, I do it just because I would rather take the precaution now than do it later. But I go ahead and I paint the whole letter black or whatever color you're using. If you're using a pink, then you would, you know, do a pink base. But this just helps because there's always going to be spaces between the buttons and you want to make sure that they don't see any of the wood or white in this case. And you only really need one coat of this. You don't need to do two because obviously you're going to spray paint over it. Once it's dry, you're going to want to go ahead and start gluing on your buttons. Um, I do one button at a time. This allows you to kind of place the buttons ahead of time to make sure that what you're going to put on actually fits in the space provided. Um, you're also going to want to make sure that you place the buttons as close together as possible. I like to overlap mine, but if, you know, and that kind of fills in the spaces, but you don't have to. Obviously, this is all personal preference. Um, but I also like to leave a few gaps here and there so that I can place accent buttons. In this case, I'm using the wooden buttons on the bottom right hand side of the screen. But of course, you can paint the whole letter the same color. It's completely up to you. This is the best part about these projects is that you can turn them into whatever it is that you want them to be. I have a variety of sizes and colors and shapes because I got them from my friend Catherine again. She got them at a yard sale um, and she bought them in like a big container, but you can also buy these at the store. But I suggest shopping around. You can get really good prices on buttons. Once you're done gluing your buttons, you want to go ahead and put the tacks back on. Um, this just makes it easier so the spray paint doesn't stick to whatever it is you're spray painting on. It kind of messes up the bottom part of it. This makes it a lot cleaner. Once your letter's dry, I would suggest doing it overnight, but it depends on the kind of paint that you buy, of course. But you want to want to go ahead and start putting your accent buttons on. Um, these are the ones that I chose, but if you're not doing accent buttons, you can go ahead and skip this step, obviously. However, I think that it kind of adds something to the letter, and it kind of makes it look more that it's actually buttons from far away. But, of course, it's completely up to you and exactly what it is you're going for with the look. But once I'm done putting on my final buttons, this is what my letter ended up looking like. Now for the final steps. Now you're going to want to grab your canvas. The one that I have is 12 by 16. But, I mean, they have them in all different sizes. And I believe they have them more squared too. But, I mean, it depends on the frame that you have also, if it, whatever fits in it. But... I'm wrapping mine in burlaps just because I thought that it fit better with the room that it was going in. Um, but obviously you can buy fabric, any pattern, any color you want. Something that you can also do is actually paint the canvas. Or if it's going into a kid's room, you can actually have, you know, the child paint it the way they want it to. Which kind of allows them to have some kind of say in what goes in the room. But, I mean, it's completely up to you. Once it's done, you're going to want to staple the letter onto the canvas. You want to try to center it as best as possible. But this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.